I'm Kevin Ogle. And I'm Adria Goins. We start tonight with new developments in the fallout from a Norman teacher's resignation. A group of Republican lawmakers in the Oklahoma House of Representatives is now calling for an investigation into the teacher and whether she violated House Bill 1775. If she did, the lawmakers want her to lose her license. This all started after the teacher gave students a QR code to access books banned in some schools. News Force Natalie Clydesdale headed to Norman today where a bookstore is now coming to that teacher's defense. Natalie? Well, that's right, Kevin. The owner of Norman's Green Feather Book Company is giving out free t-shirts and pins with the Brooklyn Public Library QR code on it to students so they can access all books. Now, while some have been supportive of her mission, critics say it's inappropriate. The QR code to a public library, it's really important to point out it's not a QR code to porn. The plot continues to thicken in the Norman Band Book saga. Now the owner of Green Feather Book Company, Heather Hall, has added herself to the story. We were really upset that the idea of providing a QR code to students might prompt administrative action against one of our teachers. She and a few other moms of Norman students are making sure kids have the ability to read all books through free t-shirts and pins with a QR code on it. The code will direct them to the Brooklyn Public Library, which gives students access to books abandoned some schools due to controversial content. The idea that the students have the tools that they need to share information is really important. The stand Hall is taking in this debate has gotten mixed reviews. I came in to express my support to this business because they're standing up for something that I think is very important. I had a person online ask me if I was a purveyor of porn. Senator Rob Standridge, who co-authored House Bill 1775, weighed in saying, Unlike a teacher entrusted with children, the bookstore is in the public square and enjoys full protections for their expression. Of course, even a bookstore could get in trouble for intentionally giving obscene material to children. Well, Hall says so many people have been interested in the shirts, they've actually run out. She says they plan to be restocked by Monday.